Hey y'all, this is Zach from Meals Under Pressure. All right, tonight we're gonna to be filming a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while. Uh, frozen versus fresh shrimp. All right, those of y'all that have been following me for a while, you know I live in Pensacola, Florida, on the Gulf of Mexico. We have one of the biggest seafood markets on the Gulf Coast, um, Joe Patty Seafood. So we get a lot of, you know, we get a lot of shrimp and seafood uh, here locally. Uh, we also have a, a fairly large shrimp fleet here in Pensacola. So do we get fresh shrimp constantly? And the answer to that is going to be no. Uh, now this is two pounds of shrimp that I got today at uh, Joe Patty Seafood. And this is a pound of frozen shrimp. All right, so which one's better? Both of these have been frozen. Don't let the, the name fresh shrimp fool you. Um, unless you get head on bay shrimp, you're getting frozen, frozen shrimp. Uh, the shrimp boats, they carry 30,000 gallons worth of fuel. They're out for weeks at a time. Now, what they do is when they get the shrimp on board, as soon as they get out of the net, they de-head it and they, they quit uh, freezing in a brine solution. It's called uh, flash freezing instead of brine solution. Um, so it's frozen. So the, the shrimp you're getting is frozen. When you go to a local grocery store, go to the seafood section, you see the, you know, the nice shrimp there on the, on the bed of ice, that is previously frozen shrimp. Um, and I've got some that has been nasty. I bought, it's been, I don't know how long it's been out. Um, seafood markers are generally good at knowing how much shrimp they're gonna sell, so they know how much shrimp to thaw out, so you are getting a little bit better quality shrimp, but believe me, it's, it's been frozen. Uh, now, so the trick to buying frozen shrimp, again, frozen shrimp can be just as good as the shrimp that you go to a seafood market and get. Um, but what you wanna look out for is, See how these are individually? Okay. Right. Individually frozen. You don't want to get shrimp in a bag that's in a block of ice. That's not going to be good shrimp. So you want to get one that's individually frozen like that. That's the, the flash frying process. Um, also, you want to get wild caught gulf shrimp. I out prefer gulf shrimp. Um, you know, I do do shrimping on the other coast, but I, I prefer gulf shrimp. But you want to get wild caught, wild caught and not, not farm raised. Another thing is the ingredients. You want to make sure that the ingredients is sodium. They said that it's frozen just salt. Now they do, uh, a lot of times we'll add in some other um, chemicals that help the, the moisture process. Um, and sometimes you just can't avoid that. So again, both of these have been frozen before. Um, these just thawed out. These just thawed out. So unless you're getting, again, you know, head on bay shrimp, you're getting, you're getting frozen shrimp. So um, I just want to kind of get that little explanation to you because a lot of times I have, uh, you know, members from like the Midwest and other places that, that can't get, you know, frozen seafood. They're like, oh, I wish we lived near, you know, near you and we get, you know, fresh. fresh shrimp all the time. No, we're still getting frozen shrimp. Um, it's just been thawed out. So anyway, just a quick little, want to educate everybody on that. And uh, we're going to be steaming some shrimp tonight and making some shrimp grits. So uh, if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe to my channel, Meals Under Pressure. Also, my Facebook group page is called Meals Under Pressure. Um, you can, uh, you can get on that too. So, so we're going to do a contest, see which one's better. Is that what we're going to do? We can do that. All right. We can do that. All right. Let's so test frozen it. versus fresh shrimp. For sure. All right. <laughs> we'll see y'all later.